Team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I, I appreciate y'all. We are very, very close uh, to 59,000 subscribers. Just wanted to let y'all know that I, I love everything that y'all do for the channel. Um, I love how y'all are so engaged with it. Y'all participate in it. Um, y'all are super, super active. So I appreciate that. Uh, thank you for checking out the, the Giants and Ravens preview video that we did uh, with my guy uh, Hub and Kid Blue. So shout out to both of them. Uh, we got one more little bonus preview with another Giants content creator that I'm sure y'all will really enjoy. So uh, we'll probably drop that tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that. Um, but today, uh, the injury report, you know, Fridays, Fridays is when that injury report comes out where they usually, if there's some people that's going to be out of the game, they'll let it be known. And the Ravens, they did just that. I mean, the Giants did it too. And unfortunately, what I was hoping for part of the reunion, because this is a big reunion game. It's like a big family reunion. Um, I was hoping that we would get to see Tony Jefferson, but we won't. We won't. Jihad Ward, we'll see him. Um, but we won't see Tony Jefferson. We'll see Wink. But we won't see Tony Jefferson, so that's unfortunate. Uh, but as far as the Ravens side, they ruled out Ben Cleveland. I think Jeff Zrebic said he tweaked like his ankle or something either this week or last week in practice, so he's out. Justin Houston. Justin Houston. I was uh, hoping that, man, JPP, he's getting more and more comfortable, so it'd be even nicer to get Justin Houston back. But not yet. We, we still got to wait it out. Still got to wait it out. Um, and, and I remember saying... When he got injured, and I think it was the first quarter of the Patriots game, I remember saying, hey, oh, it's a groin injury. They, those things are very annoying. They, they are so annoying because with groin injuries, there's no, like, real definitive timetable. They can linger. Sometimes they take a little, heel, a, a little quicker to heal. Other times they can linger and take a little longer. With Justin Houston, this thing been going on, what, three weeks now? So, just got to wait it out. We got to wait it out. I, I feel like, like... When, when the Ravens get all of their pass rushes back, it's probably going to happen like all around the same time like uh, Avengers. And was it Endgame or was it uh, Infinity War? I forgot which one it was. Whichever one it was, when everybody just started coming back, they all start popping back up. That's how it's going to be with the Ravens and their pass rushes. Because Justin Houston, he'll be back. Uh, then Tyus Bowser, he'll be back. With David Ajabo, you hope that he'll be back. Because we got to remember... Just because he has started practicing, it is not a guarantee. It's a more, it's a more than likely, but it's not a guarantee that he will be activated to the roster. Uh, but it is more than likely. But um, when he comes back to it, it'll be like, all right, let, let's get it, man. But it seems like they all going to come back like maybe around the same time or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but it'll be a beautiful thing when they get everybody, when they get everybody back. But um, probably the... Uh, Biggest name out of this group um, who's not going to be playing in this game is Mr. Rashad Bateman. I am man, for Rashad Bateman, these past two years, it's injuries. Injuries. He's he been dealing with um, some, not necessarily even significant injuries, but some, some injuries. That, yeah, they, they took him out for some time. Uh, last week, I mean, excuse me, last year, what was it, five, five six games that he missed? And now this year has been... Uh, it's going to be two so far, two and change. Um, I mean, he didn't finish the, the, the game two weeks ago. but So, yeah, man, um, you just hope that this isn't a reoccurring thing. Um, you just uh, hope that when he does come back that he can be, like, all the way good to go and fully healthy because Ravens definitely miss him. They, they miss him for sure. Uh, we know, like, he, he was struggling in, in the last game that he played in, uh, but still, he – he is somebody that's obviously capable of making plays for the Baltimore Ravens, as we have seen him make plays uh, this season. So when you got a playmaker, you want that playmaker on the field. So Ravens are definitely missing uh, Rashad Bateman. Um, so I wonder, like, this week, who's it going to be? Who's it going to be this week? Who, who's going to be that player that, that takes that next step forward uh, in Rashad Bateman's absence? Now, I wondered who it was going to be last week in Devin Duvernay. I would have to say it was Devin Duvernay. Um, and really, Greg Roman, too. Shout out to Greg Roman. Because with Devin Duvernay, uh, we knew that his role was going to increase, but I don't think anybody imagined it increasing like that, like it was last week, where they literally had this dude doing everything. Everything. 
He was RB1. He was wide receiver one. He was a kick returner one, punt returner one, everything. So I expect that to continue. Obviously, Mark Andrews. But I think we would like to see like somebody else too. Now, that's on Lamar as well because <laughs> Tylen Wallace had a chance. He had a chance to get him a touchdown, but Lamar, whoo. Lamar was like, oh my goodness, Tylen Wallace is open. I can't believe it. Get it down there. And then he overthrew him. Um, so, yeah, man, I, I'm sure like he's he going to hit those. Because Lamar, again, nine times out of ten, he's making that pass. As we all know, we've seen it before. Um, but it just ain't happening on that fourth down. And then on two plays earlier to Devin Duvernay, too. Um, and I know there's some people that said uh, they feel like um, Tylen Wallace actually slowed up a bit. Uh, I haven't really watched the game back or even watched those plays back to see. But that's what I, I heard some people say that. But who knew? No, whatever happened, it's, it's done now, obviously. Uh, thank goodness the Ravens won the game because I know that play has been looked back at a lot from a lot of people. They've been going over that over and over again. Um, now, imagine Ravens lost. Then people would have definitely been looking at that play like, ugh. Even though people are already looking at that play like, ugh. But Lamar is fine. He'll be fine. It's like... Again, I know with Lamar, um, it's tough because he's not looked at like other quarterbacks are looked at. Uh, if Lamar misses a throw like that, uh, it's it's the end of the world. Oh boy, this guy is terrible. He doesn't deserve his money. Oh man, he's bad. If Josh Allen misses a layup throw like that, um, Patrick Mahomes, Aaron Rodgers, because these things happen. These things happen. If they miss Tom Brady, if Tom Brady overthrows one of his receivers and they oh, these things happen. But um, they it's like oh yeah, it's fine. But with Lamar, it's, it's just it's different. But anyway, um, so yeah, Bateman's gonna be out. So I don't don't know when we're gonna get him back. We're definitely missing him. We miss you, Bate. We love you. Get well soon. We want to see that number seven on the field. Uh, very soon. But two numbers that add up to the number seven or number four and three. Uh, and that's Justice Hill's number. And Justice Hill, uh, before J.K. got back, and even for the first game that J.K. was back for, Justice Hill had been the Ravens' best running back this year. Um, and when he went out, and he, he went, it's like he went out like a hero, man. Because he went out, he had broke this run. I think he got a first down, too. But then you saw him kind of like pull up on his leg while he was running and slow down. And it just got awkward. Um, and then he went down and was like, oh, man. But he did get, he did make a good play in the process of him getting hurt. But I, I, I was just grateful that it wasn't a season-ending injury. Uh, but it was a hamstring injury. And, again, with those, those are other injuries where it can be tricky. They can be really quick or they can linger. Um, and with Justice Hill, he practiced all week this week. So that's a good thing. Justice Hill was back out there practicing, but they listed him as doubtful. So I don't think he'll play, especially with them listing him as doubtful. I think what they're doing – with him practicing all week, I think he's ready. But I think the Ravens are just like, ah, we'll hold you out. Let's see you practice another week because we just we don't want to rush. In. This is not going to be the year where we rush anybody back. I think they just want to be extra cautious with everybody for the long haul, for the, the, the super long haul. Because, again, 17-game season uh, last year taught the Ravens many lessons, many lessons, um, especially when it came to injuries. Uh, so this year, it's like, no, we're not taking any chances. We're not taking any risk with anybody. Nah. If you are healthy, we're going to make sure you're extra healthy. I mean, you see with J.K. Dobbins, you see with him how they've been handling that. Well, how they handled that. Um, Gus Edwards, he's another one, too. I mean, he's not on the official roster yet, uh, but he's within the, the 21 day uh, pra the 21 day window for practicing. Um, so with him, Harbaugh said he's close. Uh, I'm like, okay. <laughs> we'll. I mean, I expect him to get put on the roster within them 21 days, obviously. But uh, I, when Harbaugh says it's close, I, I'm not like, J.K. Dobbins was close. And it took him an extra while to come back. So with Gus Edwards, I, yeah, I, he'll be activated. But then they could end up holding him out for a little bit longer, too. Because, again, they they taking their time with everybody. Ronnie Stanley, he was practicing. They still held him out. J.K. Dobbins, he was practicing. They still held him out. This week, Justice Hill was practicing. They still held him out. So when Gus is put on the roster, 
when Bowser is put on the roster. If Ajabo is put on the roster, most likely he will be, but just still an if. But when those guys get put on the roster, I would still expect Ravens to still hold off just a little bit. Hold off just a little bit for them to officially uh, be all the way back. Um, but it's, it's, it, it takes a lot of patience to do that. It takes a whole lot of patience to do that. And one thing that can help with that patience, though, <laughs> winning. Winning. If you're winning your games, that can make it a lot easier for you to be patient with guys that you got returning. If you're losing, then they can be like, oh, man, we need those guys back. We need everybody back that we could possibly get because they will certainly help us. They can make a couple more plays for us every game and help us get over those humps where we normally lose these games, but we, we will win those games with those guys. So that's why it's so important that everybody who is playing, they step up that much more. And Ravens got the ability to do it. Ravens, like, thinking about it. And I know I, I don't mean to um, get anybody frustrated or extra upset, but Ravens right now, with all the injuries that they suffered, and there's other teams that's dealt with a lot more injuries this year, um, which is surprising because, you know, Ravens. But anyway, with, with everything that the Ravens have been through this year, injuries, um, the type of games that they've been in, the type of games that they done played, the type of leads that they had, the type of leads that they've given up. Ravens, they not necessarily easily, but Ravens could easily be sitting at five and zero right now. It could be two birds in the NFL that were undefeated. But football is a game of inches, and of course we remember the Dolphins game how that went. We remember the Bills game how that went, and just how those games ended. And just a game of inches. Just a game of inches. Literal inches. Uh, with the Dolphins game, uh, it was a matter of not taking the points. Turnovers on down, turn the ball over. Uh, and then with the Bills game, literal, literal inches. Like Jordan Poyer. If he would have if he would have been a half a, another half a second later on on that ball. That's a touchdown to Devin Duvernay. It's a touchdown. If he's if he's a if he's a half second later running towards going to pick that ball off, a half second later, then it, that's a touchdown. Cause Duvernay was right there. T this touchdown, like football, is just such a crazy. Like y'all saw the game last night. Oh, well, I know probably a lot of y'all probably ain't even watch it. I ain't watched most of it. Then I turned it on in the background, but um, I was paying attention toward the end. And the Justin Fields, great decision. I think, was that Mooney? I don't remember what receiver that was. He threw it to. But Justin Fields, great decision, great throw. Receiver bobbles it. If he catches it, it's touchdown. Because he's over the, uh, he's over the, um, the goal line. He, cro he crossed it. But he bobbled it. Didn't have control. When he gained control, literally at the one yard line. Oh, my goodness. I I'm thinking, man, every time I see a team lose like that, I just think, oh, my goodness. Like, if that was Ravens, I might be crying right now. That's that's painful. That's such a painful way to. It's a, such a painful way to go out when you're you're right there. But that's the thing, Ravens. They've been right there twice and lost. Not necessarily the way the Bears did, but they they've had these big leads twice and lost at the very end of these games. So um, with these uh, with everybody coming back or whenever they do end up coming back, um, it's gonna be a beautiful thing. It's going to be nice uh, because when you're healthy, you're, you're just that much better. You're that much better of a team overall. You have that much more quality depth. Um, your depth is not being tested as much because you have guys that are healthy. Uh, and it just makes your overall team better. And it, allow, it allows you to execute your plans better because you obviously don't plan on guys being hurt. You don't plan on guys missing games. You don't plan on type of stuff like that. Um, so anyway, Tinky, I know we kind of went off on a little rant. But, you know, y'all know we could talk forever. Y'all know it already, baby. Uh, that's why I love y'all that rocks with us because um, y'all already know what time it is. Uh, and y'all accept it for what it is. And anybody that doesn't, that's fine. Everything ain't for everybody. I appreciate the ones that it is for. I appreciate y'all uh, that appreciate the videos. I appreciate your time every single day. I, I appreciate uh, everything, man. The comments, the likes, the telling your friends and family about it. Thank you. Thank you to y'all. Thank y'all for being you. Thank you for listening. Anybody that got a long commute to work, I was just talking to one of my guys on Instagram. He was like, hey, man, I, I got a, a two hour, two hours both ways on the way to work and on the way home. 
to work. He, he said, hey, I, I appreciate the videos. And I said, no, no, I appreciate you for listening. I appreciate it. You know, <laughs> I said, oh, question from subscribers. That's your speed right there because those were the extra long videos, man. So they could help fill in that time on the way to and from work, man. Um, but no, I, I really do love y'all, man. I love y'all and I appreciate you all for uh, for supporting what we do on here. Um, Cause it's not easy. It's not easy. I know a lot of people think, oh, you just sit down and talk in front of a camp. It's not easy. Trust me, it's not. There's so much work that goes into it. And um, when you work very hard on something, uh, it's, you, you, you always appreciate that much more the people that support whatever it is that you work on. Because they don't have to. They don't have to take the time out of your day to watch your stuff or listen to your stuff or whatever. Or support you, however they support you, but they do. So you love them for it. I love y'all for that. I appreciate y'all for that. And we out.